Troopy time. Look behind me, she's a bloody doozy. This one's 11th month, 1980, and I've got a, a bit of a story to tell. It's um, coming to Mr. Land Cruiser for a ton of stuff, but let's go back to where it all started. Now our client on this one uh, found that he was traveling, uh, headed north, saw it either on the side of the road or a paddock, saw the for sale sign. He already owns a ute and now owns a troopy. So he saw it for sale, had to take it for a test drive, fell in love with it, being a 40 series owner already, and now he owns a ute and a troopy. And that's all, um, they didn't, we don't know the history of this one. I do know, um, because I've watched it myself, this one's been on a beer ad commercial. Um, if you've seen it, if you, you like a bevy, um, put in the comments which ad you think you've seen this one on. So I have seen this one on telly before. Someone pointed it out to me and I went and found it. So um, drop in the comments if you've seen this one on TV before. Now, I don't know if you can see from there, but this is wrapped aligned on the exterior. And even the ARB bar has got the wrapped aligned. It's pretty rough. She's pretty ready. We see a bit of bogging her. We see a little bit of uh, a rust poking through here, there and everywhere and I'll tell you it's very it's um nothing's compromising nothing's structural it gives it character it gives it a look that the owner is going for so why it's in Mr Land Cruiser is pure mechanical and upgrades so let's get to that so first of all we've done um we did a few things we've done uh, the five speed upgrade this one was pure four speed NA everything, so just, it's like it was out of factory. So we've done the five speed, job number one. We've done the disc brakes. They don't come out in 1980, job number two. We did the whistle and soot turbo, job number three. And we've done the power steering, job number four. I'm losing count here. And job number five, electrical. This thing now has a dual battery uh, set up. So we've got them down in the back corner here. We've got a uh, reading of your voltage, Anderson plug, uh, Siggy and USB. That way, now it's ready to go touring. You can put a fridge in it and off he goes. Now this one, where do you put a, a battery, a dual battery in a troopy? Now we've um, hidden this one up under here. It's tucked away. If you don't have to touch your battery, uh, you have to remove the, the rear wheel to pull the battery out, otherwise she's really high and really tucked away in a, a tray up in there, out of mind, out of sight, until she runs flat two or three, four years down the track. So that's worked out perfect. I'm gonna lift the bonnet and we'll have a look at some of the shiny whistle and soot gear, and we've done a few other bits of consolidating as well. I'll get a load of underneath the bonnet. You gotta love the old 2H, the way it just rattles along like a tractor. She is a doozy. Now, this thing's got the patina look on the outside, but on the inside, the big giveaways, uh, we've got the whistle and soot, the full kit and caboodle. Now this one, the troop carrier, uh, we have the whistle and soot stainless exhaust running right through to the rear, the air box, the crossover, the induction, the full kit and caboodle. Now we've done a bit of mechanical on this as well. Anyone guess what that is? That is where the manifold was leaking. So with the whistle and soot kit, the old manifold comes off. The new turbo one goes on. It's the full kit. So we've addressed a few issues. Things like water bottles, um, want the coolant and everything running right because now it's turboed. And it's even, even you could just about say we've rebuilt the axles because we've done with the, the disc brake upgrade, you do your swivel hubs, your bearings. When you bring it in here, we just don't chuck dirty old calipers on it. Brand new swivel hubs, bearings, and then the back axle, because we do the five speed, we put on backing plates for the handbrake from the 60 series, and we don't muck around there either. We fully rebuild the um, back axle bearings and everything. And this one, the diff needed attention, so fully rebuilt the diff as well. So not only all these upgrades, but they come with all the rebuilt uh, bits along the way. Same with the booster. You can't run your old booster if you've got the uh, disc brake system. So now we've got the 80 series um, booster on there. Under the bonnet, what else have we done? That's pretty much it visually from the top. Now, uh, you can't really see it, but being power steer, we use uh, the McKinnon's fish plate and shock towers. 
and we put in a brand new column, re-splined up the top, new column and some different uh, components. If you're doing this at home, we've got all the parts to do it yourself, apart from probably a pump in a box, but you can go Astra. Uh, this one we've kept it uh, mechanical. So, but if you're doing it at home, hit us up. We've got all the parts and the knowledge for you to, to do it yourself as well. That's under the bonnet. I think we go inside. So I'll tell you what, while I was outside yibby yabbering about the turbo system, I didn't say that you can also choose different colors, any color that the powder coater can do. And this one, it gives it, um, it's still nice and shiny. I think the client wants it to get a bit dirty still, but um, we've knocked the, the stainless steel look off and we've gone for a gray a snorkel, sort of blended in a bit with the, the, the splitties and some other gray on the car. So that's really cool. Anyone that wants some snorkel, you don't have to rattle can it at home. We can come straight from the powder coater, ready to go inside this vehicle. It's pretty damn comfy. The seats are in excellent condition and they're out of a 60 series. Um, some guys will know, some guys won't know. The 60 series, this model that I'm sitting on, uh, bolts straight in, I believe. If, if you've already, it's the easiest way if you've already got your 47 seat rails, just um, the holes line up for the seats, plonk them straight on, and off you go into the sunset. So it's one of the easiest mods to get uh, the, the, the 60 series seat in there. Looking at the dash, 1980, it's got the modern dash, but no taco, that came a little bit later on. Dash pad itself looks beautiful, it looks like it, um, I don't know, it's too nice. I don't know how it can get it so nice still. So this, even though it's a bit rough on the outside, inside's really, really lovely. And here's something unique. The air vent poting, poking through on the heater here is actually um, air con. It is designed for the air con model. So this at some point in its life had air conditioning and I'm sure the owner wishes um, it still had it because it would make life nice in here, but it's got the um, dual battery now. It's gonna have a cold drink, don't need air con, kick vent. So uh, factory floor and another goodie about this one behind me. She's got all the seats still in it. So this is a bus or an 11 seater, call it what you will, but it's um, bring your mates with you, pass you the beers. Also, let's just mention a few things we didn't do that this car, um, somebody's done the fuse, um, the blade fuse box upgrade. So no more um, glass fuses. That upgrade's been done on the dash. It comes along with the, um, the USB ports have been put in there. So. Again, someone's really looked after this one. We have put the pyro and wind boost. I've probably said this on a, a dozen videos, but we put the pyro and boost gauge um, in one down the bottom here, a SAS gauge out of the way. So um, we're not drilling into the dash. The only other thing in here that I can see is a little bit unique, apart from a whole heap of Raptor. And um, oh, we've got a bit of a um, marine carpet above me head, but uniqueness is the door cards. Somebody's made a wood grain with white speaker uh, door card, very unique. It sort of goes with the seats, goes with the whole vibe of the vehicle. Very, very cool. So I've mentioned power steer, five speed, disc brake, electrical upgrades, dual battery and uh, turbo. What I forgot to mention is it's got a brand new suspension, train tamer right throughout it, greasable shackles, everything, dampener, shocks, leaf bushes, the full kit and caboodle. And I'll tell you what, she is sitting a lot nicer than when she rolled in here. Remember, this was on the side of a road with a for sale sign on it, um, straight out of a paddock, so it's come here. So now it's practical, usable, and it's ready to go. Now, future plans, future plans. Uh, you see, she's already got the roof racks. So future plans is to get a tinny up there. Uh, he's already been talking tinnies. He's also been talking Maxi's done the wiring, so the spotlights are ready to go when he um, chooses a brand. The winches, uh, and he wants a winch up there, so he's just got to choose a brand. And then um, I pretty much say he's just going to get out and use this. Future plans, Fraser Island. If you see this one on Fraser Island, a big wave to it because it is, it's got all the mods, all the cons. It's going to eat it up and love a little trip over there. Remember, she's an 11 seater. It's going to fit a horde of Vikings in this thing. You'll fit him and his family and all his mates. So 
Uh, I bet you he's itching to get up here and get it on the island. This one is 11th month, 1980. It's been great having it here, HJ47.